What up guys? We got a subscriber request today from my main man, Jared Johnson from good old Alabama. So finally getting around to this song. It's called Worthy of It All. So many people do it. Originally it was by David Brimer. Um, I know Upper Room has a version. Bethel has a version. Uh, there's a bunch of versions out there. But I'm just going to stick with the original one, David Brimer. So he does it in the key of A, which is going to be capo 2 using the G shapes. So if you need help with the G shapes, these chords, I'll link it up top, a video for help on that. And then I'll also put it in the description. So for this song, a um, little blueprint um, and layout for the lesson. For the intro, verse 1. Um, I'm going to just kind of show you just some light finger picking just to kind of ease into the song. Just kind of uh, get into it nice and slowly. Um, the second verse in the chorus will show you a little bit of uh, strumming, a little bit of rum, uh, rum pattern, strum pattern. And um, yeah, and then we'll get into the, uh, the, the second chorus, the instrumental before the bridge and then the bridge. So just a heads up guys, on this, the layout that I'm using for this uh, song, it's it's the layout we use at church, for our church, when we do this song. Um, everyone does it differently, so I'm just gonna, you know, follow along with with the way I'm, the way we do it at church. So if you, the chords and everything, with the, the shapes, the chords, it'll apply to to, you know, most of the other versions, but just you might have to flip one of the verses around or put a chorus in front of verse two. So just a quick FYI on that. So for the intro, it's just going to be C. Uh, then we're going to a D. C, D, C, D. Then we hit this G over B. Then we go to the C. And then we go to the D. And then we hit the G. So the cool thing and the good thing about the intro, it's the same as the verses. So what you're learning, the, the, the picking pattern um, in the intro and in the verses are going to be the same. So that's, that's nice. So the, um, you know, the, the intro and the first verse, they're kind of lower, kind of softer, again, easing into the song. So I would just probably recommend, um, you know, doing a, a finger picking pattern. The, the finger picking pattern I, I use and I um, you know I'll link the video for that one So that so that's the the intro and and that's also the the progression for the verse. So when you're thinking of the intro, like you know, just um when you're trying to figure out where to switch, the the pattern and the, the structure is exactly the same as the verse. So even if you need to like sing that in your head to to get that rhythm for the introduction, you might need to do that because that's what I need to do sometimes. So anyways, here would be the, just to sing and, you know, show you around the, um, the verse and the kind of the lyrics. <clears throat> All the saints and angels, they bow before your throne. And all the elders cast their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing. So you could do that finger picking if you wanted to just do a basic strum pattern. You could just do all the saints and angels. Bow before the throne. All the elders cast their crowns before. 
So for the um, so for the first two lines, it's just down, 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 up, D, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So hopefully that makes sense. I'll, I'll go through it one more time just because strum patterns can be tricky. So again, this is verse one. Oh, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down. So that would be your verse <clears throat> and then when we do this we we just go right back into um, the same verse and we just uh we just kind of have like the drums come in a little bit so um that strum pattern you could keep it the same but i like to go a little bit more rhythm So that's just you know the 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 normal pattern that you can do on a softer part of a song. Uh, so it would just be eight down strums, and then an up strum as you switch to the D sus. Again, eight down on the D sus, eight down on the C, eight down and the up on the D sus, and then all the elders cast. Their crowns before the Lamb of God and sing. So those last few chords, D sus, G over B, C, D, and G, last two lines of the verse, those only get four down strums. So again, you might need to just kind of like take some notes and um, write some of this stuff down on, on you know, a piece of paper or whatever you do to, to try to learn some of this stuff. So these are just ideas. These are just templates for you guys to use to maybe help you out and kind of craft your own strum pattern. So we're getting into the chorus. Um, and the chorus one, how we do it, again, it's just kind of this little driving down strum pattern. So it goes G, D, C, D, G. And you're going to get 16 down strums on each chord and then an up strum as you go to the next chord. So, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things and to you are all things. You deserve the glory And if you wanted just to split it up instead of doing the 16 straight down strums Because it gets two two measures you can do eight one two three four five six seven eight up one two five six seven eight just to kind of give it one extra up strum. So, you are worthy of it all. You are worthy of it all. For from you are all things, and to you are all things. You deserve the glory.
so that would be the chorus. And then, yeah, ver um, goes into an interlude, which would be um, C. And this interlude is the same. It's basically your, your intro leading up to the verse again. Um, so yeah, the it would be the same strum pattern as the as the intro and in the first verse if you wanted to, and then um, verse two same as um, same as the first two verses strum pattern could be very similar similar. And you might want to break into a little bit more rhythm instead of so you know, you know, like uh, robotic. So it could be like a down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. So maybe play around with that, you know, again, take some notes, do some writing, figure out kind of what sounds good for you. And then, um, yeah, the chorus again, that goes to two choruses, same as the first, um, same as the first chorus. And then after that second chorus, I guess I'll call it the second chorus on the chart that we use at church. Then we go into that little instrumental, which goes before the bridge. And the, uh, the instrumental chords are the same as the bridge chords. So um, we're going to go for the instrumental. G. B minor. To the E minor. To the C and then to the G again. To the D the A minor, to the C. So a couple of chords in there that we sometimes do and don't see when we're in the key of G. So we got a B minor chord, which is basically, you can just go to your E minor chord, your E minor seven, and then just um, keep your pointer finger on there, keep your ring and your pinky finger on there, and then just slide this middle finger down one string, so now it's on the third string from the bottom, that G string. And you can keep this pinky on there if you want to, or if you want to take it off, it doesn't really matter. Um, so again, that would be the instrumental and the bridge. G, B minor, E minor, C, G, D, a minor and C and then this A minor chord I, I usually just do when it makes sense which a lot of times it does in this key I just do this A minor here I call it the easiest A minor that not a lot of people know about so I'll link this one up top if you need help with it um, it's basically just your C chord here take that middle finger off keep the pointer finger on there hit the bottom five strings and that'll be good for the um, for the A minor. So again, you'll do that instrumental once and then you'll go into the bridge. The first time the bridge will be low, second time you'll crank it up. So bridge. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let incense arise. Day and night, night and day, let to rise day and night night and day let's day and night night and so this is where you can really kind of you know build it up day and night night and day let incense rise day Oh
that just goes back into the chorus. And really, guys, on this song, you can just kind of end it however you want to end it. If you want to do that chorus a couple times, you know, big and hard and heavy and loud. And then if you wanted to bring it down one time, you could certainly do that. So, um, so that shows you how to play the song worthy of it all. Amazing song. And, um, you know, as always, if you have questions, pop a comment down below. Um, I will definitely get back to you. You know, I love chatting it up with you guys and getting to know you and helping you out in the comments. And um, yeah, like it if it was helpful. Subscribe if you like the channel. Drop a song recommendation that you want to learn. And make sure you head to the community tab over on my page to get some updates on, you know, verses of the week that I'm feeling, songs that I'm feeling, tutorials that are coming up for the week, um, you know, some polls, some live stream stuff. So, uh, so as always, guys, hope this helps you out. And um, I will talk to you in the next one. Take care.